Hello, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a contact to make a, well, in this case, a very crude and very simple wavetable synth using um, no samples at all. Um, if you want to know how to make a simple um, sample based instrument, um, you could, um, I did a video for this one. So this has different velocities for different notes. It's just a, like a tongue drum thing. And you can bring in some effects and a little bit introduction to scripting and shows you how to set the backgrounds and stuff. Um, it's only about a 15 minute video, but it will show you how to start a, uh, make an instrument yourself in contact. You do need the full version of contact, of course, um, to do this. Um, but what I'm going to do is something different for this video. So first thing you do is go to new instrument, click on the spanner thing there. And um, then I'm going to go into um, mapping editor here to start with. And I've got some wavetables, which I found um, from this site here, wave edit online. So wavetable is just a series of waves in a table. So that if you send hold down a note it will apply different patterns um, to it so it gives you a texture as the note progresses rather than just being a static um, note all the way through um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a couple here I can use I'll bring in this one um, click there expand it over um, it matters where you start it there. Let's put it on that. Um, right, so if you just play that, then it doesn't sound like anything much. It's not using the wavetable because I need to tell it to select the wavetable. And then when you play the note, the position is what moves it across the wavetable. So if I play something, OK, so what I want to do is I'm going to go to mod modulation section, add a modulator. Um, I'm going to do envelopes, AHDSR, uh, it moves this on top rather than below, um, move it up to full and then you can assign it to any of these and you can do variations and do these. But for the moment, just to keep it simple, I'm just going to do position. So now when I play a note, you should see that moving about. Good, that worked. Right, so what I want to do now, so this is a very simple wavetable synth you've got now. So what I want to do is I want to um, add some diff another wavetable so I can switch between them and I'll put switches down here to do it. So I'll go to group editor and I've got this group one here. I'll just change this to be Harmonio for the wavetable name. And I, first of all, I'll tell you what, you have to remember to do this. I haven't got, haven't got all groups yet. I have to remember to do this. Is I'm going to create empty group. Call this drone. All right, I forgot to do this last time. So remember to turn that off so it goes dull or else you get problems. Um, and do selected groups only. So now you're on drone. So this is, you haven't got anything in here yet. So I'm going to just bring this in. Again, stretch it out. It's on C1 anyway, luckily. OK, so the next bit I need want to do is assign it to different notes. So if I go to here, then I can do, so group start, you change it from always to start on key. So this is CO, the other one. So I'll leave it on there for a moment. And now I want to do the drone. Group start, start on key. And I'll, I'll move this up so it's on a different key. So now, hopefully, what this should do is when you click between these, it will do the different notes. So <coughs> do this. OK, so that one hasn't got a wavetable assigned to it when I brought that in. So I just want to do that next. So you've got the drone one here. And set to sampler. So I'm going to set that to wavetable. And I'll add a modulator for this one. 
but what I'll do is instead of doing um, envelope, I'll do a sine wave instead. Um, turn it up. So I'll assign it to position though. So, okay. Right, that's okay. So I've got this bit's working a basic synth. And so the next stage is I want to go to script editor and I'm going to add in uh, a preset. You've got preset factory ones in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sequencer. I'm going to add an arpeggiator. Okay, so this will add this onto it. So you can use all these things in here. But um, if you want it to show up in the performance view, when you click this, you'll go performance views. So this will see what you actually do for the instrument. So I do edit. And what I need to do on here is if you want any of these to show up, you need to do make per view. Sorry, underscore, but that won't work. It won't work if you spell it wrong either. Right, so since you make a change, you'll see that that's turned up there and you have to do apply and it will go red if you make a mistake. But the other thing I know I want to change on this is I'm, I've got a background. I found some suitably cheesy backgrounds to do a sort of retro synth thing. So I'm going to bring those in. So I've changed it to pixels so it fits in with that. So hopefully if I click this now, it won't go red if I haven't made a mistake. OK, that's promising. So, right, the next bit is um, I'm going to go and go to Instrument Options to bring in the picture. Go to Instrument Wallpaper. And, right, so I've got one I made earlier just in um, under the pictures. So here, so it has to be um, 633 uh, pixels wide. It's a standard width. You can have different heights and it needs to be a PNG. So I'll bring this in. Let's do close. And then hopefully I haven't made a hash of it, which is quite easy to do because I'm still learning. If I click on here, you should see an actual beginnings of an instrument. Yes. So, OK, that's good. So I'll play a bit. <laughs> So this is straight on here on the arpeggiator, so you've got it on. So, OK, what I'll do is I'll you can do a bit of patterns in here. Um, move it up and down. So I've got 16. You've got a bit of variation. See what that sounds like. And um, you can move it up more strikes. Try that. You can change all these. Um, try sure which one it's on so I'll try it. change it to the other one I'll move it down as well There you go, all works. I'm quite pleased with that. I didn't cock it up this time. So, um, yeah, if you want to check out any other videos, I'll put some up at the end. I've got a few other similar things where it's basically just me learning stuff myself and then trying to do a very short video to show people, which doesn't go on for ages. Um, so, yeah, check out some of the other ones if you want to learn some um, basic programming or scripting stuff for music. Also, I've got quite a few for Reaper and stuff as well, which shows how to use... Um, some stuff on that which isn't so obvious. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.